In this tech tip video, carburetor float exchange for Rotax 912, 914, and two-stroke aircraft engines. Service Bulletin SB912074, 914.056, and 2ST004 requires the mandatory exchange of certain carburetor floats. Consult Section 1 for affected engine serial numbers and the appendix table for all affected carburetor serial numbers. Check the engine's logbook and maintenance records to see if this service bulletin has already been accomplished. Rotax has made a labor credit available to IRMT technicians performing an exchange. Check with your local distributor or their independent service centers for more details. Affected carburetor floats must be exchanged at the next scheduled maintenance event, but no later than one year from the service bulletin release date. If an affected engine runs rough, especially at lower RPMs, or if there is fuel leakage, the exchange must be performed before the next flight. New Style Exchange Floats, part number 861189, are marked with an R for identification. New float pair, part number 861189, is applicable for all carburetor types. Float chamber gasket, part number 830721, is applicable for 912 and 914 series carburetors. And float chamber gasket, part number 830722, is applicable for 582 carburetors. For 914 carburetors, an attachment screw O-ring Part number 631771 is also required. Follow the instructions provided in the service bulletin and in the respective engine's current line and heavy maintenance manuals. Use caution and be respectful of the environment when fuel is present in the carburetors. This work can be carried out on an engine or on the bench as I am here. If an engine is equipped with carburetor drip trays, they must be removed to allow float bowl removal. Open the float bowl clip. For 914 series carburetors, cut the safety wire and remove the float bowl attachment screw and o-ring. Remove the float bowl chamber along with the floats and the float bowl gasket. Inspect the float bowl for any contamination. If any contamination is found, the entire fuel system must be inspected and cleaned. Place the new floats over the float bowl brass pins. Ensure that the original float bowl gasket has been removed and that the sealing faces are clean. Using a new float bowl gasket, gently place the float bowl into the carburetor body, taking care to align the gasket. Reattach the float bowl with the spring clip. If the spring clip will not close, Check that the float bowl gasket is properly seated into the carburetor body. For 914 carburetors, again, use care not to dislodge or misalign the float bowl gasket and attach the float bowl with the attachment screw and a new O-ring. Do not over torque the attachment screw. Over torquing may warp the float bowl, potentially causing the floats to bind and improper carburetor operation. Reinstall the carburetor drip trays if necessary, and restore the aircraft to its original operating configuration. Perform an engine test run and check for fuel leaks. In the case of spare parts carburetors, or in this case a pair of carburetors that have been maintained on the bench, a maintenance release form or some documentation must be provided noting that this service bulletin has been accomplished. The test run and leak check will be performed when the carburetors are installed and the engine test run is performed. After float exchange on an engine, make an entry into the engine's logbook or aircraft documentation, noting that this service bulletin has been accomplished. Thanks for watching. You can find more videos like this on the official Rotax YouTube channel, Fly Rotax.